What's up, y'all? It's Celeste. I am now finally at the end of my Accutane journey. I've been taking it since the end of November, so I'm almost seven months on Accutane. I'm going to call this a seven-month update. It's really more like six and three quarters or something, but seven months is a little bit a little bit closer. So um, anyway, um, I believe my last update was at the four-month mark, and at that time, it seemed like I was getting close to finishing my treatment, um, but I ended up staying on it a little bit longer because my dermatologist... Um, Basically, like the way that, that Accutane works, I can't remember if I explained this in the last video, but you're trying to get to a cumulative level of Accutane in your system. Um, there's some formula that you use that's based on your size and weight and stuff um, that you want to get to a certain level. And after that point, you should be clear. But I guess there have been some more studies recently, or I don't know, maybe my dermatologist just got more information about this, but... Um, there's some indication that um, it might actually be better to go above that that level and to just like go a little bit longer. That that's there's less chance of having reoccurrence later if you do that. Um, and my side effects really haven't been that bad. Um, I'll go into that a little bit more detail in a second. But um, because of that, I there wasn't really any reason for me not to continue taking it. Um, so I just went along um, to the point where my dermatologist recommended and um, so now tomorrow is going to be the last day that I actually take it. Um, so as far as side effects, um, I really haven't had too bad of side effects overall. The biggest side effect that I've had all along is dryness, of course, um, that's pretty much unavoidable. I'm pretty sure 100% of people who take Accutane have dryness because it keeps your body from producing so much oil, so it basically just has to readjust, and um, that does happen over time. I know some people have the dryness, like severe dryness, through their entire treatment. For me, um, it kind of it kind of started at the very beginning, and then it kind of got progressively worse for a little while, and then it kind of got better. And then for a while it was kind of fluctuating where I would have like a couple weeks where it wasn't too bad and then it would come back and I would have like tons of flaking on my face um, or like, I don't know, just like things like that. Um, but after a while it kind of just calmed down and I really haven't had very much dryness um, in the last few months. I mean, I've been dry compared to normal, I guess, but um, I'm just drinking a lot of water and putting a lot of moisturizer on and I haven't really had any flaking. I haven't really had anything like severe dryness of any kind. It's basically just been like basic dryness and my lips have been chapped and stuff like that. Um, so it hasn't been that bad. Um, other side effects that I have had kind of ongo not ongoing, but um, over the course of my treatment, at some point during my treatment. Early on, I had some muscle aches. Those went away pretty quickly. Accutane did give me weirder dreams, um, which I'm still having weirder dreams, but the thing is with me, first of all, I already had weird dreams. I already had very vivid dreams just naturally. That's just how my brain works. But I'm also on like three other medications that cause weird and vivid and occasionally violent, um, like not nightmares, but like just very intense dreams. So I guess the Accutane probably is still doing that to me, but I, I'm so used to that that like that didn't, that's not something I even really think about. Um, maybe it'll calm down a little bit after I stop taking it, but... Uh, we'll see. Um, and let me think what else I had. Oh, the other big, uh, big side effect that I had um, has been flushing on my face where I'll just get a lot of redness, um, especially like on my cheeks. It's mostly on my cheeks, my nose, a little bit on my forehead and my chin, um, but the cheeks are the worst part. Um, and it, it's, kind of sometimes happens randomly. Other times it happens um, when I get nervous, um, which I guess it's kind of like an extreme version of blushing. Um, also when I get overheated, um, like if I'm working out really hard or something like that, which all of those things are like times when your face already has a tendency to get redder than usual, but um, it's beyond what is what has been normal for me. So um, that I think has gotten better. I don't have it happening just randomly all the time like I did for a little while. It is still happening um, and I'm hoping that's gonna go away after I stop taking Accutane. I know it's possible that it won't. I know there, I, like I've read um, uh, accounts from people who had that uh, as a side effect and it didn't go away. If it doesn't, then to me, it's a like it's a better trade-off. I would rather have that than to have acne, but um, I'm hoping that it, it'll go away. 
um, cause it is kind of annoying and like it makes me self-conscious and stuff. But um, I think that's pretty much it for the side effects that I had. Um, never had any mood stuff. Um, trying to think of what the other big common side effects of Accutane are. I Like with the dryness, it's always been pretty much relegated to like from the neck up. I did have a little bit of dryness on my torso um, and I've just like I've started moisturizing more in that area and it hasn't, it never got any worse and it's not even really that bad now. Um, so that hasn't really been a problem, but I never had I never had dryness on the rest of my body. And I also, even on my face, it, um, I, I never got to the point where like I, when I first started taking Accutane or when I was about to start taking it, I of course looked up a lot of videos of other people talking about their experiences and their side effects and everything. And there were several people who had like really bad styes in their eyes or like their eyelids got, got dry and like, I don't know, just all this kind of like more extreme stuff than I ever had. I never really had anything like that. It's just been normal dry skin, but just like worse. Um, so yeah, so I guess I've been pretty lucky with the side effects. Um, and I think that's, I think that's everything that I, uh, that I either had or can think of that are common side effects. Um, and I, I know I've talked about some of those before, but I kind of wanted to just run through them again. Um, just because I have had several people asking me about those things. And so Hopefully this, hopefully that was a complete list and, uh, and that'll be helpful for anybody looking this up. Um, as far as my face, uh, like the, um, not side effects, but like the intentional effects of Accutane, um, my last update uh, was at the four month mark. And at that time I had had one bump pop up about a month before I took that video. So it was like at the end of February, I had one bump pop up that's the last bump that I have had. Like I haven't had anything else new since then, um, which is amazing. Um, it's been just like unbelievable. Um, and so everything that is still like anything that you can see on my face, none of that is actually acne. That's all just leftover marks, leftover redness from previous breakouts that I've had. Um, that is just taking a long time to fade. Um, I know it can take a while, but it definitely is a little bit better than it was. And um, I, I haven't had any, like I said, I haven't had any more flaking or um, for a while I was having so much dryness that like I was having these little like dents almost in my face where it would be like a little piece of skin was just missing all of a sudden, um, which is kind of weird. Um, I haven't had that for a while. So basically for the last few months, I haven't had any anything new and I haven't had any like weird new side effects or even most of the side effects like haven't really been ongoing. So the last couple months have been really easy. So that's pretty much it. My face feels great. It looks great. It's so much better. I am so happy. Um, I'm just thrilled with how Accutane has worked for me. I again wish that I had taken it like 20 years ago because my life would have been a lot easier for the last 20 years and I wouldn't have had to spend so much money on dermatology and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I am happy to be finishing my Accutane treatment, even though it hasn't been that bad, just because it has been kind of annoying to have to go back to the dermatologist every month and have to go get a pregnancy test every month, even though I'm not sexually active, and go through all this rigmarole with the government to make sure that I am not getting pregnant, even though I'm not sexually active, and it's just been kind of a pain. Um, so I'm glad to be to not be having to take it anymore. But as far as the actual like effects on my body of taking it, um, I've been very lucky and it hasn't been that bad for me. Um, and it has been in fact great for me. Um, I've, I'm just thrilled with the results that I've gotten. So that's pretty much it. And uh, now I will show you some comparison pictures. My dermatologist said that if I do get a reoccurrence of acne that probably won't happen for several months, like maybe six months or so, um, hopefully that's not going to happen, but uh, maybe at that time I'll make another video just to let you know whether it happened. Um, if you're 
one of the people like me who are searching videos on YouTube and trying to follow different people's journeys to kind of see like how things could happen. Um, so maybe I'll come back and do that. Um, but otherwise I don't feel like I really have anything else to say about Accutane um, cause I'm done with it hopefully. And uh, hopefully I won't have to, to go on another course of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, of course you can always leave them in the comments section below. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my future content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.